Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight on WYLN News. I'm Gary Perna. We begin tonight with a plant closer in West Hazleton. According to published reports, 150 workers will be out of a job come this September. According to reports, uh, officials with Stroman Brothers Bakery in the Valmont Industrial Park said that workers were told Wednesday that production will be moving to lo from the location in West Hazleton to other Bimbo Bakery USA facilities in the Northeast region. Region. The move will better meet market demand, according to officials. Now, the Enemans plant, which is also owned by Bimbo in the Humboldt Industrial Park, is not affected by this closure. Again, 150 people will be out of a job at the Bimbo facility in Valmont by September. A Luzerne County Volunteer Fire Department is out of service as police investigate a massive theft from its social club that led to the utilities being shut off. Nanny Coke police say that they are investigating the theft of tens of thousands of dollars from the Honeypot Volunteer Fire Department social club. Investigators say a suspect turned himself in to police. Now, police say the suspect said that utilities were shut off because the bills were not paid. The suspect was responsible for paying those bills. The suspect then told the police he has been taking money from the club for several years. Charges are pending through the completion of the investigation. The Volunteer Fire Department is one of several that supplement Nanny Coke's full-time fire department, so officials in the department say responses will not be hindered. An ATV was stolen from a backyard of a Hazel Township residence, and now state police in Hazelton are asking for the public's help in identifying the theft or the thief or thieves. The theft was reported on the afternoon of January 31st. The 2014 black and orange Honda Rancher was stolen from 1966 State Route 940. Video surveillance footage showed a four-door maroon or burgundy Dodge Dakota with a high black metal divider separating the cab and the bed of the truck pulling the ATV from the area. The truck is said to be a 1997 to 2004 model. If anyone has any information on this theft, you're being asked to contact Trooper Beaver at 570-459-3890. A Hazleton man will head to Luzerne County Court after he allegedly attempted to kill his former girlfriend. 30-year-old Roberto Alves Marquez shot 19-year-old Destiny Davia in the early morning hours of August 19th near Wilbur Court and West 5th Street. He told police that he shot her accidentally after she was dropped off after a night out with friends. Davia was flown to Regional Trauma Center where she underwent numerous surgeries. The bullet is still lodged in her liver. He was charged with attempted homicide, possession of a prohibited firearm, simple assault, and reckless endangerment. After his preliminary hearing on Thursday, Magisterial District Judge Joe Zola bound the charges over to county court. His bail remains set at $300,000. After an extensive legal review that began in 2016, the Pennsylvania Auditor, excuse me, Attorney General's office concluded that the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center is not fulfilling its obligation as a public charity. Attorney General Josh Shapiro filed a petition on Thursday in Commonwealth Court to modify the deceased government, the relationship between UPMC and Highmark. Patients have a simple goal, to restore fairness to our health care system, and to promote the public interest by ensuring patient access to affordable health care facilities that they have funded with their health care dollars. The suit is an effort to keep UPMC from ending its business relationship with Highmark. The consent decree modifications would do three things. First, require UPMC and Highmark to work together. Second, ensure fairness for Pennsylvania taxpayers. And third, protect access for all patients. Shapiro is asking the court to stall development expanding for, a, for the beginning of July that would have Western Pennsylvania patients facing higher health care costs. This afternoon, Hazleton Mayor Jeff Cassatt announced his re-election bid for his office. 
Using Altmiller Playground as a backdrop, Jeff Cassad announced that he will run for a second term as mayor of Hazleton. We have a lot of projects in the works, uh, some that were announced, some that weren't yet. Um, so we do need some more time to complete the projects that are started and to really move the city forward. Under the Cassad administration, Altmiller Park received upgrades. Many have referred to Cassad as the recreation mayor. Art Miller Park, which was once a beautiful natural setting in the home of the Mile Rocks. This family gathering spot completely deteriorated over the years. During my administration, I sought to rejuvenate each and every park and playground within the city. This is one of the fine examples of the work that was done by my team. This magnificent neighborhood park is now a world-class facility. This and other projects were completed utilizing a variety of federal and state grants which were applied for and received by my administration. Cassatt won re-election back in 2015 to become the 28th mayor of the city of Hazleton. And during the last four years, the city, according to Cassatt, has come a long way. I have made the tough decisions that were, were needed to move the city forward. Those changes are now in place and we are operating more efficiently, allowing Hazleton to pr properly fund the vital services. We asked Cassatt about what he wants to focus on during this election. Well, uh, you know, obviously, we still want to focus on the everything that's in, in, in the Act 47 plan. You know, a lot of people are going to say that the Act 40, that they're going to do certain things, and we could rate, we could cut taxes, we could increase staffing levels, and all that. But according to the Act 47, was you know, was voted into by City Council. It is an ordinance now. We, we must follow that. So, you know, we're going to do the best we can to improve the city within those limits. Um, we we have do have a lot of projects. We have some economic projects uh, going. Um, there's some more. Uh, Innovation projects going. You know, we have a lot of stuff going on with the police department. So, you know, we have a lot of things that are really in the works. Cassatt also told it the recent crime stats that show crime is down in the city by 44 percent. A city that was nationally known for crime has seen serious crimes go down by 44 since 44 percent since I took office. By authorizing Chief Jerry Spizial to carry out our joint vision for a safer city. We can now walk the streets without looking over our shoulders. Cassatt said he's looking forward to this election. Well, I really think that the people are going to see what has done. They're going to realize that their property values have gone up, crime has gone down, and that Hazleton is a better place than it was four years ago. And I think that people want to see that project continue. On Wednesday, Hazleton City Council's agenda, the police chief is asking council to hire more cops. The chief is asking council to hire four more police officers to help protect and serve the city. Chief Speziali said the cops are needed to keep receiving a federal grant. What happens is because of the COPS grant, we are obligated to stay at a specific level. Mm -hmm. If we fall below that level, we lose our grant funding, we could be fined, and we have to, uh, and we lose the ability to also apply for future grants. So in doing that, I have to continuously do a quarterly progress report to the COPS mm -hmm. uh, grant people. As a result of that, I told them we were in the process of hiring. This will bring us up to that required level and then we will be able to apply for the next COPS grant which could either lower uh, financial burdens on the city and would also give us the ability to apply for three salaries over the course of three years with possibly no matching funds, which could either be rehires mm -hmm. to stay at the present level and save money for the taxpayers, or it could give us the ability to hire more officers above the financial recovery plan because it doesn't cost anything. The chief said the grant process has been made and with more additional officers, even more can be accomplished. The four names that appear on the agenda are Brandon McGeehan's, Landon Hannon, Nicholas Castellella, and Richard Mokefen all appear on the ballot. Coming up on WYLN News, the governor was in our area today pitching one of his new plans. The details are ahead, plus a fee is a no-go for now in Wilkes-Barre. Well, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast for, well, it's going to be nice on Saturday, but it's going to be cold. Nice and sunny, a high of 30. Sunday and Monday, though, cloudy skies still in the upper 30s. Snow is in our area on Tuesday.
Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hi, I had a very minor uh, fender bender tonight in an unreasonably narrow fast food drive through lane. Don't worry, I have everything handled. I already spoke to our Allstate agent, and I know that we have accident forgiveness, which is so smart on your guys' part. Like, the fact that they'll Four just... weeks without the car. Okay, yep, good night. With accident forgiveness, your rates won't go up just because of an accident. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. Minutes away. That's right, you're just minutes away from a great deal on a new car, truck, or SUV from Barber Ford. Two great locations, Exeter and Hazleton. The best deals on America's number one brand are just 19 minutes from Scranton, 15 minutes from Wilkesbury, 12 minutes from Old Forge, 18 minutes from Mountaintop, and 28 minutes from Berwick. Barber Ford in Exeter and Barber Ford in Hazleton. Start your new car search today at barberautogroup.com, where nobody but nobody sells for less. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Wilkes-Barre City Council voted against a proposed recycling fee that would eat at Thursday night's council meeting. Mayor Tony George 2019 budget included the increase that would raise the recycling fee by $10, from $10 to $60 a year. The money was budgeted and would have brought in nearly $175,000 a year. City Council members split 2-2 on whether to approve the increase, so it died. Council did, however, approve the mayor's budget by a four to one vote late last year. A spokesman for Bill Cosby says his wife and children haven't visited him in a Pennsylvania prison because the actor doesn't want them to see him in that kind of environment. Spokes spokesman Andrew Wyatt said Cosby also fears that the visit would become a circus. Cosby is serving a three to ten year sentence for a 2004 sexual assault case. State officials say he's been moved to general population after four months in prison. Wyatt sees him regularly and says Cosby is fit, happy, and working on new creative projects. Governor Tom Wolf was in Dallas today visiting Misericordia University's Ruth Matthews Bringers Women's and Children program to outline his bold budget plans to create the strongest workforce in the nation. The governor's statewide workforce education and accountability would provide opportunities for Pennsylvanians from birth to retirement, including $5 million in funds to support single parents in post-secondary education. We need to provide options for our students as they grow up. We need to provide you know, career technical schools, community colleges, apprenticeship programs, and we need programs like this one at Misericordia. The Women with Children program at Misericordia is one, again, of only eight programs like this in the entire United States. The program empowers single moms by providing the opportunity to complete a college degree, creates a brighter future for them, but it also creates a brighter future for their children. The governor will create the Keystone Economic Development and Workforce Command Center to bring together government, schools, and industries in the Commonwealth. Also in his budget proposal, Governor Tom Wolf is once again calling for municipalities who use state police to pay up. The governor's latest attempt to recoup costs for state police coverage comes with a sliding scale that would motivate larger municipalities to consider foregoing what has been cost-free law enforcement. Locally, a number of communities rely on state police for coverage. If it would pass the state house and senate, for example, Hazel Township could be on the hook for over $700,000, and smaller boroughs like Jetto could have to come up with about $784. State police provide either full or part-time coverage for more than half of the state, or about 1,713 municipalities, and that number keeps growing. 
Schuylkill County commissioners are actively searching for ways to house inmates within the county limits. But meanwhile, commissioners approved an agreement yesterday with the Northumberland County to accept prisoners. Schuylkill County already outsources inmates to five other counties besides Northumberland. Last year, the county spent more than $1.5 million because of overcrowding. Commissioner Gary has said that the process is expensive and it is escalating and that the county needs to work faster to find or construct another building to reduce the outsourcing costs. Chairman George Halkovich said commissioners have been actively exhaust, actively looking for housing options in the county prison. Well, staying in Schuylkill County Thursday night, the Schuylkill County Commissioner Gary Hess and his running mate, Joe Polabinski, formally announced their bids to run for Schuylkill County Commissioner in the 2019 election. Hess and Polabinski, both Democrats, made the announcement in front of about 300 people at the St. Clair Fish and Game Club. Hess, who served as mayor of Schuylkill Haven prior to being electing to county commissioner, will seek his third term. Polabinski of Ringtown has served as the borough of Shenandoah's borough manager manager for the last 20 years. There are three spots up for grabs in the general election. Both parties will put two candidates up and the top three will be elected Schuylkill County Commissioners. On the Republican ticket, current commissioners George Halkovich and Frank Stoudemire are seeking re-election to their posts. Well, coming up on Hazleton's News Choice, we take a look back at this week's top stories. Stay with us. Have you been waiting for huge savings on your next truck? The wait is over. Stop into All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram during Ram Truck Month to get the truck you want at the discount you've been waiting for. Get a 2019 Ram 1500 for 0% for 72 months in 90 days until your first payment. Or at least the 2019 Ram 1500 Quad Cab Express for $199 a month. The best deals on new trucks are going on right now at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. At Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Cat Napper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric Mr. Slim ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. Monday. Hazleton police took 21-year-old Juan Rosario into custody after a 20-hour manhunt early Sunday morning. Police received a call about a man pulling a gun in the area of Wyoming and Green Streets. Upon arrival, they found evidence of shots being fired and their investigation led them to a location on Route 93 in Cunningham for Rosario. The suspect was spotted after setting up surveillance and police conducted a traffic stop to take him into custody without incident. Officers say Rosario may be connected to at least two other shootings in the city. He's now in the Luzerne County Correctional Facility on $250,000 bail. Tuesday. A certified public accountant from Rice Township will plead guilty after he allegedly laundered over $1 million from an undisclosed business. Adam Kamor will enter his plea later this week on charges on money laundering and income tax evasion. Kamor's firm allegedly began transferring the business's money to his own accounts from 2014 to 2018 as part of a scheme to defraud and obtain money by false and fraudulent pretenses. He diverted around $1 million in checks payable to the business to a bank account he controlled. Kamor also fraudulently issued over $350,000 in checks payable by the business. He allegedly failed to report over $800,000 in income on his personal tax returns as well. Both offenses carry a combined maximum of 25 years in prison and a $750,000 fine. Wednesday. A video circulating social media since Monday shows a fight that broke out inside the Hazleton area high school, but district officials say the video doesn't tell the whole story. The video shows three security workers holding a girl while another one forced her head to the table and then held her down by her hair in the cafeteria. 
What this 20 second video doesn't show is an argument that the girl started and three fights that led to this one. Director of School Security Chief Ed Harry said the officers followed procedures. Harry's asking the Luzerne County District Attorney's Office to file charges against the girl and other students shown in the complete video. Superintendent Brian Uplinger said the public won't see the entire video because the district solicitor advised against releasing it to protect the privacy of students. However, Uplinger will talk with students and parents about it, including the girl's mother who watched it. According to district officials, the girl started an argument and stood on a table in front of a vice principal who told her to stop. The cafeteria has been the scene this school year of several fights, which injured four security workers and sent one teacher to the hospital. No injuries occurred during Monday's fight. Thursday. A commercial plane with more than 30 passengers on board made an emergency landing at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport after having engine problems. The plane was flying from New Jersey to Canada. All the passengers were moved inside the airport and were able to board another plane to fly to Canada. No injuries were reported. Friday. Published reports this morning say over 150 workers will be out of a job come September. The Standard Speaker newspaper quotes officials with Stroman Brothers Bakery in the Valmont Industrial Park, who told workers Wednesday that production will move from the location in West Hazleton to other Bimbo Bakeries USA facilities in the Northeast region. The move will better meet market demand. The Entenmans plant in the Humboldt Industrial Park, owned by Bimbo, will not be affected by the closure. That's it for your Week in Review here on WYLN News. Blaze Alexander Family Dealership is very proud to become a part of the Hazleton area. Come see us in Hazel Township or visit us online at blazehazleton.com. There's Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Buick, GMC, and Cadillac, and Mazda. Plus, a huge inventory of the finest quality pre-owned vehicles available, all with the Blaze Alexander lowest price guarantee. We have a long-held reputation for low prices, great selection, and top-notch service. Blaze Alexander Family Dealerships in Hazleton. We're taking the deals the other guys won't. The Falvella Law Firm, located at 314 Main Street, Suite A in Cunningham, offers help with car and truck accidents, wills, powers of attorney, and estates. With a small team of attorneys, they work directly with each and every client, serving all of Northeastern Pennsylvania, and they are proud to offer legal services that make a real difference to you. Call them at 570-788-4191 today. Stop in at Two Italian Guys Pizzeria for the best pizza in town. Serving a large variety of pizza, stromboli, and so much more. Open till 3 a.m. Take out or eat in. Delivery available. Call 570-459-2783. When you see news happening in your neighborhood, call WYLN News at 570-459-1869. Or email us at news at WYLNTV.com. Or send us a message on social media through Facebook. WYLN, we're your local network. Tonight is our last regular season high school basketball game and it will feature Dallas at Hazleton Girls. Join Marty Burns, Joe DeMelf and the entire W Island sports team as the Lady Mountaineers take on the Lady Cougars at the Hazleton Area High School Gymnasium. The game will air tonight right here on WYLN at 7.30 so make sure you stick around. That's the news. Remember, you can always get news updates on the WYLN News Facebook page. Now stay with us to look at today's weather is next. And it's been a pleasure being with you all this week. Good night. You've seen university advertising. A student like me pitching you the same old ideas. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to tell you what you can do with a Penn State degree. You can help anyone. Go anywhere, create! And with 20 campuses to choose from, you'll always feel at home. Look, Penn State is amazing, but your best years are just beginning. Come find out for yourself. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road in Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicap accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. Packages are available to fit anyone's budget, and there is a restaurant and catering on site. The facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor parties, private parties of any kind. Call 570-384-2314. Do you like craft beer? Do you want to learn the right way to sample wine? How about visiting a restaurant that has a unique flavor? 
or a crazy food challenge. These are just some of the things we'll be featuring on our show. Wine, hops, and roadstops. Jeff Bonomo and his co-host, Alan Gennetti, welcome you into the world of craft beer, great wine, and good food. Wine, hops, and roadstops.
You're watching Monterey City's Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network.